Okay, Voltec Hybrid with you. Working on a 2005 Toyota Prius. And it came in, it's had a number of things going on. It first came in with a bad upstream O2 sensor. Uh, I tested the resistance on it and it was out of spec, so I replaced it. Also did a fuel system cleaning and new spark plugs. Uh, and then well, I'm getting a code P0137 downstream O2. Uh, circuit voltage low and tried replacing that one <clears throat> and uh, didn't work I, I, I had one from another Prius here I got a couple you know just a few uh, just a few around here uh, maybe, maybe is there another one? Oh yeah yeah there's another one up there too anyways uh, I borrowed a downstream O2 sensor that was known working known good sensor put it in here uh, so what I'm doing now uh, because basically okay what I'm getting now if you look on <clears throat> tech stream here uh, if you see this O2 bank one sensor 2 it's only at 0.05 it's supposed to be about 0.1 to 0.9 uh, and what you could do here, so you can control the injection volume for the air fuel sensor. So you can go up 12.5% or, or negative 12.5% and zero. Uh, I have up here, you can see this, a back probe. Uh, I back probed into the connector here for the, uh, that's on the, coming from the sensor itself. Uh, so the circuit is live right now and it's working. Uh, and I had the back probe in there on the, uh, basically the output wire, input output wire. Uh, <clears throat> coming down here to my meter, which, uh, it is reading 0 .063, which this here, 0 .05, so you can see that they are getting pretty much the same information. Uh, and when I, when I do plus 12.5%, we see this jump up like it should and now actually it is starting to read normal just all of a sudden as I'm doing this video it is going up I have the chart here it tells you how it should be if it's okay it's supposed to rise when I increase it you should see a rise more than 0.55 volts is good and when I do a negative it should be negative 12 and a half percent fuel it should be uh, less than 0.4 volts and what I was getting before was this down here no practically no change when I would increase or decrease that <clears throat> now when I'm getting this uh, that's the closest that I've been it's still at uh, yeah, 0.8. That, that, that's the most I have gotten this thing to go up so far. Um, that's pretty interesting. Let me see when I put it back to zero. Back to zero. Watch on the meter here. It is dropping up. Yeah, down real low. Real. I mean, that's way out of spec. Uh, what we're starting to think now... Uh, I'm going to try taking out the O2 sensor, which is down underneath the vehicle, uh, somewhere right up there, yeah, over there. Anyways, pretty easy to take it out, um, take that out of there, and start the engine, and see how much, uh, see how much exhaust I have coming out of there. We're thinking the cat could be plugged, um, could explain this, and... Uh, that's that's some of the people I've talked to what they've suggested uh, You know, I've done things like plugging This while watching that up there Plugging the tailpipe. I got my hand over the tailpipe right now probably can't see that from here, but it's Pretty much no change uh, There is some pressure coming out, but not that much uh, so that's what I'm going to look at next, and I'll try to shoot some video from that and keep this updated as we go along. Thank you.